Hey guys, just a quick little thing to look at for Bedrock Edition, because I know there's still people who don't know how to add a server and everything, and I do have a server, so, what, because I need to grab the details again for it, I haven't used it in who even knows how long. <laughs> but I'll put it in the comments for this video since it's short enough, but to add a server... Now, keep in mind, if you're on console, you cannot do it, and this is for Bedrock Edition only. So, Bedrock Edition on laptop, because that also has Java, so be careful there. And then, basically, if you have Minecraft on your phone, on your tablet, and such like that, you'll be able to add a server. Now, it, to first do, of course, you need to click play, or else you're not going to be able to do diddly squat. It'll show your world, you can see your friend list, if you have any, same thing as realms. And if you're doing a realm, I just thought I'd show this right now. You click join realm and you put the code in. It's as simple as that. It's not hard. <laughs> but, still, some people can get confused. And with servers, you'll go over to the servers thing. Now, first things first is you will see seven featured servers. You're going to want to ignore those. Now, normally, it'll be, like, right here and everything is where the add servers will be. But because I've already added five servers, yeah. Anyway, you want to go over here, click add server. Oops. Um, decline for now. Anyway, but this server name does not matter. It doesn't. The port normally doesn't change. If it does change... Uh, depending on if you're getting it from a person or a YouTube video, if it's in a YouTube video, the IP address and the port will normally be stated because that's the information to connect to the actual thing and everything. If you're getting it from a person, you're just going to want to ask if the port changes or not, or if they didn't specify it, whatnot. Just get it from wherever you're finding it, so. But... Yeah, I'm just going now, I'm just going to put random information here because you can save a server like this. It's not going to do anything, but see, I clicked save now. Now, the way you know it's actually connected to a server is, say, I'll go over here. You can tell it's working because the title even has stuff under it, right? Here it has locating server on it. This one you'll see over here on to the right side, right above the join server. It'll show the current ping. It'll show how many people are online and everything. It'll even show the title properly as well. Where if you go over to the one that doesn't work, the current ping will just be a red dot. The online will just be uh, the figure of a body or a head anyways, and it won't work and... You can definitely tell multiple differences other than, of course, the name between these two servers. Now, if you're wanting to delete a server, you go click on the pen and everything, and you click remove. And then you click OK. Now, if you're wanting to change the name of it, you click on the pen. And then you can change the name of it. If you just want to change it to a different address, you can. If you want to change the port, you can. So you can always edit it. But that's basically how you add a server on Bedrock Edition.